What's up fam, it's like Katie B back in the building with the another reaction video with Mama B. This is my mama and we only react to polys or just Nisians in general. So in saying fams, you guys know the girl, it's Thursday and today we're going to be doing Throwback Thursday. So this is our new segment if you guys have just started checking out our Throwback Thursday. So yeah, this is a new segment and we're sort of just, you know, sort of um, acknowledging our you know, poly artists from back then that sort of paved the way for our artists now. So, OGs. Yeah, OGs that we know of. So this is an opportunity for you guys to request old school music and for us to, you know, sort of share that with you guys if you haven't heard them before. If it's like a throwback for you guys as well. Like, oh damn, mm, I haven't heard this in a long time. From my generation and before. Yeah. yeah. And also because um, people have requested yeah. in the past, some of you have requested for songs that are like over five years old mm. and like mm. they're either dormant or inactive and mm. just didn't see fit to do the poly movement mm. when these guys are dormant mm. but this segment is to sort recognize of give back our yeah, energies recognize you. especially for you youngins that you mm. know don't know about these guys or whatever you know mm. If you're new to our channel, this is the first day of video you're watching. Thank you so, so, so much for stopping by. And if you guys want to consider subscribing, please do by clicking on my logo over there. Or click subscribe at the bottom. And please don't forget to click that bell to keep notified on when we upload videos for you guys. So yeah, this, let's throw this right back. So we had the Jets, which we knew were like, you know, one the of the first, first to really ever make it big for Polynesians and their Tongans. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had Buya Tribe. So they're another group that we know that really made it big after the Jets unless there was another good do correct us. Mm. But yeah, Booyah Tribe, eh? Woo, woo, woo. So they got a lot of popular songs, you know, they're quite big and I feel like that's where our influences with, you know, rap, you know, mm, rap and, rap. you know, our style really came from, which was Booyah Tribe. Because, yeah, we were just quite happy, eh? For them they too. ripped America and, and, you know, the, the bloods and stuff mm. like that, the, the colours. Mm. But we were only too proud back in my days yeah. when this dropped. Like we were just like, wow! Yeah, and everyone boys. wanted to be Cobra. Yeah. Everyone wanted to be the Godfather with the hair and everything. And they're big like us, yeah. you know. And they're big like us. Hard up. It was mm. just awesome. It's just awesome seeing your own people make it out there and a thing that's so westernized and all that jersey. Like mm. what's me for the? Yeah. I mean, no, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't all good. I mean, what they ripped stuff yeah. like that, but it was. It is what it is back then. Mm. Mac 10. Come yeah. on, let's go. Featuring Mac 10, that was. Bang on. Mm. Let's go. If you don't know the song, I don't know what's wrong with you. Let's go. Mm. <sighs> to to hear the song, ah, I know. I haven't, yeah, I, I haven't actually listened to the song in ages. Ah. I remember this coming on TV. Whenever we used to watch it on TV, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. I think, apart from one or two, maybe the brothers, the mm. last name was Devoe, oh. Devoe D E V O U X. Um, one of them passed away, yeah, a few was, years ago. yeah, rest yeah, in peace, man. Yeah. We're watching a lot of you know videos of when, um, Godfather, yeah, I think yeah it was when Godfather God, God, I think it was Godfather that passed away. Man, it was just like yeah. a sad time, me eh? Like, um, yeah. that's just the I mean, time. just the respect yeah, that everyone had for them. For these guys, man, as a, as a whole. Yeah. Man. They put, yeah. they put us out there. On the map, to, yeah. yeah. Like, <sighs> and no matter what they ripped or the colours and yeah. what. We're just proud we're that proud. they're islanders, yeah. you know, they're Samoan and all that jazz. You know, and if you're going to make it big in America, that's the best place to make yeah. it big in the music. Like New Zealand and Australia didn't really have yeah, that opportunity for our people to grow. Limited boundaries here, but yeah. these guys. These guys. Now, once you make it big in America, you make it big eh? worldwide. Hundred percent, man. 
ripping from Australia and New Zealand. That's what that's what I, another thing I loved, like just seeing you know the old school cars in there. Were like oh, pretty sicky, man. I wish the visuals were a bit better. Yeah, it's my real GTA for some reason. Mm. Let's go. And from Carson. Mm. That was the first time I heard of Carson too. Yeah. It was with these guys. It's a bad oh, no, name. It was with um, SOS back in the days. So oh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. Oh, no, maybe. <laughs> I remember back then um, when this came out, I remember there was a lot of crap going around by other you guys are all big and fat and good. <sighs> but no one ever, like so we hear from reason. America, Samoans are very popular in America because mm. we're big. Mm. Even Tongans, all the all us islanders, because yeah. we're big and we don't stand to shit. I mean, yeah. we unite as one yeah. and we help each other out when shit hits mm. the fan. That's what it was like yeah. in America, the vibe. Yeah. Especially with Santos Samo, very, yeah. being one of the biggest like gangs in yeah. America from what I know. And helping out um, your own mm. because you're getting attacked by other yeah. um, other nationalities. But these guys, they're big. When they came and up they're too, proud, right? they're it. here. Oh, the scabies that popped up around. <laughs> it's Auckland. like when Eminem thought he was Blondie. Yeah, everyone wanted to be Godfather, Cobra, mm. Gotti. The, the tattoos too in mm. Old English. That was oh, a Oh, that's definitely band. still popular that now. That hit big time. Tattoos on the knuckles. Yeah. Man, that's definitely a tattoo. I'd love to get some over here. But, but you know, everyone's really good. Cool. Oh, true. Those ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, the swoop, like these guys, well, these, like with this, like my mum and uncle used to always wear bandanas here and I'll try and get them to put on. Yeah, even that, oh, like once they all do it, I'll do it and I'll just do everything. Because I was always blue or black. Yeah. But it was not really in the colours, but I just never wore red. So yeah. I just can't stand with it. Oh, I love red. That's my jam right there. You guys are always, oh, like, I would see you guys have bandanas on there and I'll be like, can you do a bandana? You either be like, oh, Betty. No, but, I never yeah. wore no, I never wore the bandana because of the colours, the trend on that. Mm. I wore because I never combed my hair. <laughs> yeah, that's why she wore. And then I'd ask her if I could wear some. And also, like, just this was big back then when I was little. Mm. Like, my uncle and dad would always do, it and I'd just copy them because you know I was a gangster too. But it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, this was the, oh, like man, it was this, a cool thing to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like especially because I looked up to you guys, and I was just like, I want to do what they're doing. <laughs> Stay flamed up ritual, keep the dickies original, off the weather smash through a game zero, with the gotti belt buckle, the best chuckle, my bumpy knuckles can't stop my hustle, they puzzle, how the hand get guzzled, they tumble. I just want to say how you said dickies original, that's another thing where, uh, why I love dickies as well, like it's something that, I've just grown up with, hey dickies, despite it not being a poly brand or anything. I think it's, it's chinos. Just a, yeah, chinos. Yeah. To them. Something with chinos yeah. or chucks, yeah. but it was the Latinos or something, yeah. Mexicans, they all that stuff. Yeah. That was their style. 
Yeah. I've always wanted dickies since I was little just because these guys are in the way. Like my family used to wear it religiously. It's just good quality. Yeah, yeah, it lasts long, man. Good mm. work wear. Good in winter in there, but not yeah. in summer. Yeah, oh, no, no. Hard help. Trying to fade through the muscle, they in trouble. When the mind go humble, the debris from the bubble got the whole thing in trouble. Where they at? There they go, gangsters. Where you from? Here we go, gangsters. Get the rap, growler, scrap, growler, burgundy, maroon. Never visualize and let it go boom. Gotta get that fly, boss of all time. Always outnumber, but never outdone. Don't want to march unless we a million. Let me peep, folk, get west side and back down. Now I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that famous mm. ending, man. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, I, damn, haven't, damn, I haven't watched this. Yeah, yeah just, like I can't remember half the clip. I only listen to it, the music on, you know. But yeah. I, I, I haven't watched this. In a long mm. time. Like I remember, only remember when they're under the you know bridge and that. That's all I remember. But wow. definitely a throwback, man. Definitely a throwback. Give us your thoughts, Mom B. Just funny, just funny looking back yeah. to our era and when this came out and mm. how everyone was proud to be Samoan, mm. proud to yeah. know, walk around and get tattoos and yeah. and the long hair. Just, just this, the impact this video and these mm. guys had oh. on the whole poly community. Mm. Maybe, maybe more Samoans, yeah. like just proud to be Samoan. Worldwide, I'm yeah. sure, worldwide. It's just like, what was life before this track drop day? Like, what were our pollies wearing, or what were our pollies, how were our pollies talking and stuff like that before this track drop? Wearing, I couldn't um, picture. Yeah, we're wearing, probably the boys were wearing um, tight suits. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. The girls are looking, the boys were wearing tight suits, looking like Urkel, and <laughs> the girls are wearing shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like, oh. It's like I just couldn't picture what would have, what would have been like before these guys became really popular, and you know, police started wearing dickies and all that jazz. We were all like dressed like how the jets, the jets, yeah. covered up conservative and. Mm. Mm. Damn, it would have been a big shock for you guys, eh? Like despite the American music, but just seeing the police. We've seen like you see it in the music back then when it came out, mm. and then to see these guys. You yeah, know, with girls that like are half we're, naked, and but like, we're proud. Like, yeah. like I didn't even think about the girls then. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> it was just more the proud, yeah. real humble proud. Mm -hmm. mm. Just everywhere Probably they drove, that's all them. you heard. Yeah, yeah. Driving around, you'll feel low rider. Hey, yeah, no little boy. It's a panty, you know. No. Nah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just didn't even understand half the things we were saying. All I remember is the you don't want to put me, that's why I got to bang on you. Like, that's just the famous, you know, thing that everyone that you hear on everyone's stories and all that, just but the most depicting the life that they grew up in, yeah. um, it wasn't all, yeah, hunky dory, it wasn't all cherries and yeah. ice cream here you have a million dollars here yeah, yeah. they had to do what they had to do the solo yeah. back then because hearing of america back in the days wasn't yeah. i mean carson and yeah. san diego those yeah places, carson seems like a it pretty... wasn't all nice yeah, yeah. but for yeah. these guys to make a music it was oh yeah i'm loving this old school yeah just i was just stepping man. back in time 100 percent man like even just listening to a song club makes me want to cry because I would, I would love to go back to, you know, that time when I first heard this. But yeah, fans, honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed this Throwback Thursday with us as much as we did. Um, I'm sure you guys would have memories that would make you guys go, damn, I remember this time. Oh, I remember when we were doing this at this time. I remember time. hearing it or at drink cups. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And no, this song playing at a drink cup, it doesn't make you... And all of a sudden you see the boys like shoulder flip back. And... 
Ja, het smeekt hem veel. Het zat me. Nu vier kinkstuin. Hade. Hade, hade. Het is ooit de influence of music that make people act mm. a certain way. It's amazing how they can do that, eh? Like, I mean, how you, you come from a Samoan song where you're laughing and singing. Mm. Come to this one and go. <laughs> it's crazy. It's good, good times, though. 100%. But yeah, fans, honestly, let us know your stories of you know, your experience with this song when you were growing up or the first time or any, just anything, any stories we'd love to hear, we'd like to read it and all that jazz, get to know you guys a little bit more too but yeah, other than that, much love stay safe and see you guys in the next video bye